Hi, I'm Dr. Pej Batty, a board certified physician here at Celaxis. At Celaxis, we provide a wide array of regenerative treatments for orthopedic and spine conditions. We are an advocate for the science of your body's ability to heal itself through regenerative procedures and the opportunity and option to prevent or delay invasive surgeries. Spinal disc herniation is an injury to the cushion and connective tissue between the vertebras. Herniations are usually caused by excessive strain or trauma to the spine, which may result in back pain, abnormal sensations, and pain in different parts of the body, and physical disability, of course. Protection from disc herniations are best provided by core strengthening and an awareness of the body mechanics, including proper lifting techniques and proper posture. When a tear in the outer fibrous ring, which is called annulus fibrosis of the intervertebral disc, allows a soft central portion of the bulge out beyond the damaged outer rings, the disc is said to be herniated. Disc herniation is frequently associated with age-related degeneration of the outer ring, known as the annulus fibrosis, but is normally triggered by trauma, straining, lifting, or twisting. Tears are almost always posterior or lateral, which means on the back side of the vertebra, due to the relative narrowness of the ligaments of the back. A tear in the disc ring may result in release of chemicals causing swelling and inflammation, which can result in severe pain, even in the absence of the nerve root compression. Disc herniation is normally a further development of a previously existing disc protrusion, in which the outermost layer of the annulus fibrosis are still intact, but can bulge when the disc is under pressure. In contrast to a major herniation, most minor herniations heal within several weeks. Anti-inflammatory treatments for pain associated with disc herniation, protrusion or bulges, or disc tears are generally effective. However, severe herniations may not heal on their own, and they may require surgery or, in this case, stem cell treatments at our facilities. The condition may also be referred to as a slip disc, but this term is not accurate, as the spinal discs are firmly attached between the vertebras and cannot slip out of place. Protection from disc herniations are best provided by core strengthening and an awareness of body mechanics, including proper lifting techniques and proper posture. In order to properly diagnose your condition, we need recent MRIs and or x-rays. Usually we prefer to have an MRI that is no more than two years old. Sometimes we require to have earlier MRIs depending on the patient's conditions. Conventionally, treatment options include medications like narcotics, over-the-counter medications, muscle relaxers, pain management and spine injections, burning of the nerve and the nerve tissue, or doing an invasive procedure going under the knife. We used to be limited to these temporary or invasive options, but now with the advent of regenerative medicine, we have new options to explore. Regenerative treatments are defined as a process of collecting cells, regenerating abilities, cultivating them, and re-injecting them back into the precise location of injury. Whether it's a facet joint or sometimes into the disc themselves, mesenchymal stem cells are the organisms that could be extracted from the patient's adipose tissue, which is fat or bone marrow, or from umbilical cord or placenta. Here at Salaxis, we only use autologous stem cells meaning that they only come from the patient's body. For spine procedures, we usually focus on bone marrow, harvest, concentrate, 
and re-injected into the back of the spine using precise imaging guidance with fluoroscopy. The procedure allows patients to have reduction in pain and improve their range of motion by up to 80% in about four to six months post-procedure. Contrary to spine surgeries that have up to three months of severe pain and about one year of recovery time, regenerative spine procedures have about one to two week of spine soreness. Most of the patients are back at work within a few days after the treatment. If this is an option you're interested in exploring, make your appointment by clicking the button below or above this video and we can do a full evaluation to see if you're a good candidate for stem cell therapy. Thank you, and I hope to see you at our offices soon.